well, I am I at <laughs> my parents' house now. Well, not really my parents' house, my brother's house. And uh, Neil is bringing me some gift on behalf of his parents. And well, this is actually for a Christmas present. But I won't be able to be there that time, so he's bringing the gift for me. So now it's time to unwrap the gift. Fun fun. Oh my god, it's tight. Nail art kit. Cool. I like this. So I can do more nails art things on my nails now. Well, I used to have this, but I don't have it anymore because I'll finish. This is no what? Foils. Foils. No foils. Ooh. This is cool. It's a different type of nail art that you can use it uh, to do a lot of different type of patterns. Have a DVD included in this box. This is cool. I like it. It has DVDs in it.
Yeah, we will go on the way when we go to the pressure station. Mutt, mutt. Oh, need to get his leash. Yeah. Need to open the door. Can you help me to get my bags all in the car and the water bottle? Water? How many chocolates do you bring? Oh, so, don't let the doctor... We should get the mutt in the car first. We should put the mutt in the car first. Need to bring the dogs in first. Go, 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 no, I'm not going in that way. Open the back door. Oh, yeah. See, it's all turned to... <sighs> Stay. It was all like this last night. And now it's all down there. Because we had a big rainstorm last night. Surprised this place is not flooded completely. You better wear your sneakers. It's dirty here. Yeah, well, I'm not going any further. Pastille. Pastille? I kick your ass. Here. And uh, we now at this uh, culture village, Kuching Sarat, and we just visiting the place here. So I just need to show you around a little bit. Yep, let's get out of the way. So this is one of the uh, culture. Oh, is that a monkey? Is there? A tree over there. Well, they. they it's two of them. Our screen is a bit dirty, but it's okay. Well, here is just like a, a big, big place with uh, jungle surrounding and uh, some houses to show you the uh, different culture here. They got Chinese, they got Malay, they got other um, cultures like um, like what it Murano, the Vida you Iban well those culture don't really well they still exist just that it's not much people <clears throat> in this culture anymore so they just want to show you how 
how is their lifestyle here or back then and how how they do their everyday thing so so this is some yeah these are some of the places you know houses so we they give us this passport thing so inside this passport they have this um um thingy for you to chop whenever you visit one of the places <coughs> excuse me and houses so this is one of them but i'm not sure um what culture is that so we're gonna go there and have a look and there's the toilet yeah. not funny <laughs> So yeah, uh, I will show you what is the cultures, well, one of the cultures for this house. Talk to you later. You have the kitty here. Yeah. Oh, your favorite. Just now. <laughs> it's a meow meow. I hope not. Ah, so maybe he, the cat is just. This is the old, old radio type of radio. Uh huh. This is like their their bedroom. Okay, maybe we should look around if we see any kitty here. Recording. Those are slippers. The slippers. See, you got me call calling them slippers now. It's coming! It's coming! Yeah. Perfect! So you said it was coming, huh? Well, it was! Not anymore. Not yet. A second one. By the time they get here, they're smaller anyway, so... No, it was big just now! Yeah, I said by the time they get here, they're smaller again. Aww. Aww. It looks like it's going to rain, see over there? Yes. All the clouds turn black. It means we need to get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do 
So does Jenny. No. Cross eyes. Hello everybody! Hi! Guess where we are now? We are in the Singapore Zoo! Where's the thing? Yeah! Singapore Zoo! So now we want to go to the um, white tiger feeding. How long have we got? Well, now it's like almost two. The show will start about two, uh, 20 past 2, so we still have like 30 minutes before the show starts. So maybe we can go some of the places first. KFC? What? No, we want to see some other... The monkeys eat KFC. What the hell? <laughs> anyway, so we're going to go to this... What? How do you call this thing? Tea Trot's ta Trail. No, no, this Otter. One. Otter, yeah. Otter. We're going to uh, watch the feeding of the otter. Well, somewhere, I don't know Oof. where. Going to look for the map. Yeah, there it is. That was easy? Yep, is easy. It, is it time so yet? So we will show you the show when the show starts. So yeah. Veggie, I thought that you know, veggie can't really make out much 
delicious meal, but um, what they come out from the food is so nice, especially their spice and the sauce, and uh, what else we have, the rice as well. Oh yeah, uh, when we have our meal and we have uh, the waitress tell us that there's a lady there, she is helping people to read the uh, house and uh, she can tell about your futures and like your career, your marriage, your family, how it's going to be like, like uh, from what age to what age, uh, how your career, how is your... So what did you get in yours then? Uh, she told me that I will be very good, like my career and uh, family and everything after my 25. So 35. Oh, sorry, uh, 35. So and she did mention that after 35 to 40, I wanna, you know, start a business. Yeah, start a business someday and will be traveling a lot and. Uh, Probably will get married around early 30 or maybe 32, 33 or something. And uh, Neil also get his palm read. So, how about yours? Uh, hold on, I need to put this thing out. Uh, so, mine, what did I get? I was told I'm gonna be pretty rich. <laughs> what age? What so, age do you wanna be very rich? Uh, I think 40? No, 35 that was. I think it's 40. No, no, yours was 40. Mine's was 35. Okay. Uh, when I get to 35, I get, um, that's where I start my new career. No, in the late 20s, she said I start a new career, which could be either me moving or starting a new job or something like that. Um, I just said, so obviously I started my new job in the late 20s, early 30s, and then um, when I reached 35, that's when I started making uh, a lot of money. Because of, because of uh, she did mention about the career, that it's going to be even, you know, even bigger or better, or, you know. Yours or mine? Yours. Yeah, I think it's better. And, Smooth, everything's gonna be where, good, where. Oh, and don't forget, she said when I reach 40, um, I'm gonna win lottery. I'm either gonna, I'm gonna get a large sum of cash, so I'm either gonna win the lottery, uh, or someone get just, loads of cash somewhere. Yeah, someone just give you the money. Or... I'll be walking down the streets of Singapore one day, and uh, loads of cash will just follow my hand. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna um, eat dessert soon once we clear these plates off. Maybe you can show them around the restaurant how the restaurant looks like. Yeah, but um, basically, we're gonna have a dessert soon and then we will have our photos taken hopefully by them and then we'll head home. So, yeah, talk to you later. Well, that's the end of the recorded footage. Um, I'm just about to show you a little surprise that I had planned before I flew over to Malaysia and Singapore. Uh, I did a bit of pre-arranging for this, but um, this is uh, what happened. It's not actually a glass of wine, but it's this. Uh, I set us up to have a picture taken. And then straight after that picture, I told them to bring me the case for the ring uh, for a proposal. Thankfully, she said yes, and uh, got to put the ring on her. Unfortunately, we didn't have any video footage of this, but um, there's plenty of pictures of the whole uh, event on Facebook, so check it out. 
subscribe for future videos and talk to you soon.